what's going on everybody welcome to episode one of our dolphins career mode and today we are going to start off the season as and i'm going to talk a little bit as you take a look at what the squad looks like here as we go in depth a little bit here and as well as a couple of quick free agent signings just to fill in some holes in the depth chart but guys i'm hoping that as time goes on these will get a little bit better I'm kinda trying out this format here as we're gonna do four games an episode and see where we get to on that front I originally planned on doing eight but these it's a decent amount of time here on this video so I think I'm gonna hold down to four and I think play wise we're gonna take a look um, at big uh, big gains um, things that get you uh, plays that get you first downs stuff like that so hopefully it turns out all right as we take a look at the rest of the squad so bear with me a little bit these will get better um, after my vacation I'll have a little bit more time to edit and uh, do a couple of things of that nature so hopefully after the 20th once FIFA 19 comes out around that time these will get a little bit better and we'll be able to uh, change it up see uh, how everything goes and as well in the comments guys as we go forward let me know how you guys feel about this let me know how it looks to you guys how it's going and stuff of that nature but we're also going to skip through the preseason we're just going to jump straight to the first season as we sign D uh, Dominique Rogers Camardi just to fill in a cornerback slot it's kind of thin some of the uh, areas here on this team right guard um, D tackle they're kind of kind of thin we can get some better players in there so just having a little bit of depth at different places is always a nice spot to be as we also add a middle linebacker we're gonna go with Maluga as well just to add a little bit of veteran leadership here on this defense we're not gonna do in this one too too much trading I know if you're playing with your friends and things of that nature you kinda get out of control I definitely do when we <laughs> when I play with friends of mine so um, we're gonna avoid doing that we're gonna try and keep it as realistic as possible and uh, for the season I mean this is a decent squad not great we can push toward the end of the playoffs I feel and hopefully that's where we'll get to so we'll see how it goes as of um, this first season but we'll jump right into it we're gonna jump right into the Tennessee game um, third down right off the bat it's our first possession of the year um, getting ourselves nowhere three and out quickly as well as the Titans going three and out back the other way as you see Osweiler in the game Tannehill missing the first week through injury got hurt the second week of preseason but he's gonna miss this week so hopefully we don't have to play too too much as we go forward without him second and six now though pass over the middle is Kenny Stills moving down the field toward the 50 yard line as the first quarter ends here it gets close to the end here it's a great catch there outside and we get the first down we're moving a pretty well just this first game trying to get the kinks out and things of that nature as Kenny Stills finds it once again a second catch of the episode here and it's Brock Osweiler he's got those long legs races up the middle down to the four yard line second quarter here as Kenyon Drake gets outside gets in we want to get Kenyon Drake going I think he has the ability and I think with enough training he can get going so hopefully we can put him in a nice spot we can get him going um, get his stats up a little bit and he'll be a really good running back for us I feel as we go into the future there as we sack Mariota there second and three third and twelve now two minute warning coming our way and it looks like we're gonna get ourselves the ball back here after the two minute warning which is pretty good we're seven nil up already I'm hoping to get forward <laughs> seven nil seven zero up gonna not playing FIFA anymore as Brock Osler takes off again um, I do so this is the first time I've played Madden since Madden 17 so I get a little bit panicky in the pocket that will fix itself as the season goes on hopefully and uh, it'll eventually even itself out as we drive down the um, field here 30 seconds to go here in this first half we're looking for some points another a field goal here would give us a double digit lead going into the second half that'd be brilliant of course and um, Brock takes off again this time <laughs> he's running out of a bit of stamina there and uh, does well enough though first down here and we slide down inside the five yard line 20 seconds to go here as Kenyon Drake is stuffed at the line on the five yard line we got one play to get in the end zone here can we do it Osweiler rolling out 
and not really. It's swatted away. Third and goal. Three seconds to go. We're just going to take the points. We're 10 nothing up here at halftime over Tennessee. It's a good lead. It's a good start to the season. Hopefully at this rate. One half in the books as he throws it deep. And I don't know how he snagged that. Toe tipping on third and 19. And he does well enough to keep it in play. And it's first down once again Deion Lewis doing a little bit of shake in there and gets down third and five now in the red zone Tennessee gets himself a catch Richard Matthews moving forward down inside the 10 now and Tennessee driving open this half we could have ended it there third and 19 we should have but we couldn't and Tennessee get themselves on the board it's a touchdown Kenyon Drake moving forward here we would like some points obviously to get that double digit lead back but now it's a very tight game and Tannehill uh, it's a weird rollout motion, and we just panicked. <laughs> Bad throw. Kenny Vaccaro, free agent signing here in Tennessee now, and he gets the interception. And up the middle, Deion Lewis goes once again. Not too much Derrick Henry in this game. A lot of Deion Lewis, uh, but we'll take that. I hate running against Deion. Uh, I hate running against uh, Derrick Henry there, as he's hit and bought down. He gets the first down, but it's third and eleven here. Tennessee looking to get some more points, take the lead possibly as Rashard Matthews breaks a tackle or two there, but cannot get the first down. And Tennessee settle for a field goal. We got four minutes left in this game. It's 10-10, and we have the opportunity here to drive and grab a game-winning field goal here as Osweiler once again taken off with his feet moving forward That's seven carries for 61 yards a good return there ball out to Kenyon Drake here first down I pass the midfield marker down to the 37 here now third and two at the two minute warning can we get the play forward yes we can it's right inside the 35 and now we're just killing clock we're looking for that game winning field goal and here it comes two seconds to go can we hit it it's up and it's good it's a 13 to 10 win to start the season a very very nice start especially considering we got to play the patriots twice this year who have both lost over so the only team in our division to get ourselves a win as you saw there so it's a good start to the season playoffs of course is the aim so wins will be very very important as uh, the jets go three and out to start and we um go for it on fourth right there fourth and inches the QB sneaks in this game are a little bit different uh, kind of gets stuffed a little bit more than I'd like um, but it'll do but we keep the drive going another third down here as Tannehill is back in the lineup it's a bat ball off to Kenyon Drake though trying to move the ball down the field and this and this uh, quarter went really quickly Jets moving the ball and not getting any first or not getting any uh, first downs there but a lot of time they took off we're into the second quarter already this is third and nine in the red zone can't do anything with it and we'll settle for the field goal it's three nothing Miami 440 left in the second quarter this is the Jets turn now first and ten here and it's deep and it's caught by Robbie Anderson there it's a nice over the shoulder catch a good throw by McCown it's not Donald's a good throw from McCown though and uh, it'll do for the Jets as they try and move down the ball and match or take the lead as the ball is thrown out wide but McCown can't get it past Rashad Jones who jumps in front and picks him off a good interception there good play and we'll definitely take it as it's our turn to move the ball here Kenyon Drake with the catch out of the backfield there cross the 50 yard line second 11 now we're approaching the two minute warning and he's hit in uh, the uh, hit in stride there sick he couldn't speak but he's taking it and getting ourselves a first down as Drake tiptoes past one would-be tackler and gets himself another first. Third and one here in the red zone now looking to get something on the board. And that's a bad throw on the run. And the Jets pick it off at the 30 there but they don't get any points there they just run out clock so we're into the second half that could have been a huge set of points for us but it comes to nothing it's still 3-0 here as uh, Osweiler takes off as Tannehill went out injured again Tannehill we're gonna have to watch him a little bit with the injuries third and six this time and we go down in the backfield Jets ball and they come out firing hoping to get some points on the board at some point three nothing still they're still within distance and one good drive can give them the lead and here it is but it's third and 14 now they're looking to do something with it and it's tossed out there it's a good catch and it's a first down for the Jets 42 yard line now we're moving the ball a little bit here another catch right there third and five though now at the 36 right on the border 
of field goal territory here and it's swung out but it's just a little bit behind the line field goal is up and it is through the upright so it's 3-3 four minutes to go same situation we were in last time with the titans hoping to grab ourselves another late win here as amandola gets clocked at the 43 yard line but survives um gets sicky with the catch running over players down to the 40 yard line here and the two minute warning comes second and ten and we are in a good position here we're getting close to field goal range and that probably bought us into field goal range osweiler once again using his feet and getting forward and here it's time to run out some clock off field goal up 20 seconds to go and it's off the upright <laughs> man we could have won it right there but it comes to nothing first play of overtime now and McCown is sacked we bring the blitz on the play action somebody pick it up they finally do down to the five yard line and this time surely we can't miss and there we go an overtime victory over the Jets 6-3 in New York we'll take it but we're gonna have to pick up our play a little bit if we're gonna want to get a little bit better here a little bit further down the line into the playoffs It'd be very difficult playing like that, but we've got the Raiders next at home. Another home game. We're 2-0 to start the season. A good start for us, but we're still going to have to pick up play here. This is first and 10 and launch down the field, and it's caught by Kenny Stills. First drive of the uh, game here, and we started off rather well. As uh, Tannehill breaks out here, and he's got those legs. And he uh, gets down into the red zone here. Now it's third and three at the nine. It's a ball thrown, and uh, he can't hit him on the run. And we're going to have to settle for a field goal to start this game. A decent drive. Took some time off the clock, three and a half minutes or so, um, and get ourselves some points. It's third and ten now. Staring at a three and out, and the Raiders don't get one. As Roberts sneaks by a tackle, breaks one at the end there, and just goes the distance. Third play of the game. It's Oakland 7, Miami 3 now. It's third down for us. Kenny Stills looking to not go three and out after giving up a TD, and we don't. Very nicely done, but third and three this time around. And unfortunately, we do end up giving that away. Third and seven here now for the uh, Raiders, and they go three and out as well. It's kind of back and forth here after early scores. Now it's kind of turned into a little bit of a defensive uh, defensive stalemate here as we try and move the ball down the field. It's a good throw. Kenny Stills there into opposing territory. Looking to really get ourselves back into this game. As the ball goes over, it's Kenny Stills once again who's having a good start to the season. Devontae Parker not as prominent, but Kenny Stills will take those throws as Tannehill gets out there. Third and seven, runs for the first. And here we go, Tannehill rolling out once again. Can he get outside? Yes, he can. He gets just inside the one-yard line. Second and goal now, and it's Tannehill, and he sneaks outside. Can he get in? He can. And with seven seconds left in the half, we take a 10-7 to lead. And it's a good end to the half. We'll definitely take it as it's... Uh, given us that lead um, coming out of the break room there so it's third and two now for the Raiders they try and run it there but it's two sideways Washington's caught and it's back to us and a chance to really seize momentum here on this drive as Kenyon Drake gets a nice little hold there moves on third and three though and smacked oh, couldn't get it out in time and unfortunately the Raiders are gonna get the ball back and here's second and ten they're looking to get themselves some points back on level this game up at some point here we're getting into the fourth quarter and they're gonna have to do something here to level this game up as they start moving the ball a little bit third and five Jordy Nelson brings it close to the 50 yard line and now they're past it third and three now here and it's caught I thought we had the users there but it wasn't meant to be it looked like it was right in front but just taken away there by the running back and couldn't do anything with it on second and 17 a good position for us but they do well and then Marshawn Lynch powers his way forward on third and inches and Oakland keeps its drive up here driving to take the lead though on third and 15 they try the screen play breaks off but can't do too much more with it as Oakland go ahead and tie the game up with a minute 12 to go another tight tight game here late on as we roll out right and that's a great throw on the run and Kasiki stays inbounds gets up toward the 50 past it under the 42 yard line but we're up to third and eight now hoping to get ourselves at least a field goal Ooh, just slide in there 30 seconds to go now 
field goal to take the lead and it's blocked oh my god it's blocked and the Raiders take over with a little bit of time and not a ton of area to get to to try and grab themselves a game winner now as Jordy Nelson is brought down gets himself a first 10 seconds to go now on the 47 yard line and right over the middle Martavis Bryant with two spin moves gets to the 30 yard line and now the Raiders have a chance to win it here or it's overtime again and they do <laughs> the Raiders unlikely win right there with we had a chance to take the lead with 30 seconds to go and that leaves us at two at one two and one along with the Patriots and we're gonna get some of our early signings out of the way as well as William Hayes is back for another couple of seasons here but now we got the Patriots to end this episode a big old game against the division rival we're both two and one looking to go forward and uh, take command of the division here as the Patriots have the ball Tom Brady waiting and waiting and lofts it up deep and that is gonna be intercepted there Rashad Jones with another interception is second of the season already and Tom Brady being a little bit risky and we are reaping the benefits there as Amendola takes a pass against his former team moving the flag or right there moving the first down marker and putting us in a good position but then we get sacked on the third and two Patriots come away with it at the 37 yard line and not a good spot to give the ball away as James White gets forward third and inches now but we bring the blitz and does he get there does he not no he doesn't and the Patriots get themselves an early field goal here with two minutes left in the first quarter they take a three nothing lead and we'll be okay with that as Anthony the guy we just signed back broken ribs out for the game out for a little bit of time as Amendola gets us a first down there second and ten now Miami we're looking to go forward and that's just a bad throw we were hopeful at best to get that throw over him just a terrible turnover a terrible terrible turnover and the Patriots are back in business Chris Hogan there gets him the first down 37 yard line here now we're at the 31 second and five it's picked up by Hogan once again and he moves the chains again New England driving here after our awful awful turnover for Morris gets out wide tries to get himself a couple of yards there and his third and five and Tom Brady overthrows and now they got a some a field goal attempt and then they tried this weird little fake field goal running out the wrong way or and he's sacked and the Patriots come away with no points which is not like them but we'll definitely take it of course ball over the middle now and hopefully we can take some of this and use uh, a little bit of momentum here as Amendola picks it up and moves it toward midfield third and two now and once again Amendola with the snag and brings us closer to field goal range as we enter the two minute warning hopefully right from here we can just seize a little bit as second and 18 after a holding call and a little bit of a run there third and two we pick up a chunk of it with Tannehill got X open there and no uh, we waited too long or we didn't wait long enough either way a bad interception and every time we seem to have momentum we throw it away and there's one with a missed sack and Brady just drops it in and it's a nice snag on the sideline a minute to go though in the half and Brady with an awful throw out here to Gronk and we take it back 40 yard line here looking to get some points we got to take advantage there's this just a turnover battle at this point and there we go we get into field goal range here 23 yard line 38 seconds to go now as we look to go ahead and do some more damage a touchdown here going into the half would be great considering how awful we've been playing this first half and we would take the TD very very much but on third and four smacked as we throw and we're gonna have to settle for a field goal attempt and it's through the uprights and at halftime it is three to three a very very tight game which has been uh, <laughs> the uh, theme so far but we get ball first hoping to take advantage now grab ourselves another set of points but um third and ten that's an open pass he's got to hit it but he doesn't 
and unfortunately we have to punt the ball away. Here's Hogan with a 10-yard catch. Hogan been very prominent today, um, doing pretty well. Third and two, James White outside. Bit of a spin move, gets himself the first down. Couple first downs in a row here for New England now as they look to push down the field, take some time and grab themselves some points. But on third and 12, the little pass out back gets to nothing and we take over and there's Tannehill taking off him and Osweiler got legs and they are going to use them as long as I'm still adjusting to Madden here his first and 10 and there you see Tannehill once again rolling out and getting out of play third and eight now here though four minutes to go not a ton of time and we are hit as we throw again and this very very tight game is the defenses are stepping up big, coming down to it. No, that should be picked on third and 21, but it isn't. We pick the ball back up, and we're looking to not go three and out here. It's third and 10. Loft it up and smacked away there. And once again, a couple three and outs here. And this is very much Tom Brady territory right now. Two minutes on the clock now. First and 10 for them, and the ball is smacked up in the air, and it's picked off. And we are going to run ourselves into... <laughs> into um, Patriot territory and it started really well here on uh, third and eight we're just trying to suck clock away and kick the field goal there and up it goes and it's through the uprights it's 6-3 55 seconds to go uh, but it's all Tom Brady here and he passes it out left it's snagged and caught inbounds and then steps out of bounds stops the clock too much time there he finds James White and down to the 40 yard line with 40 seconds to go it's too quick too easy for Tom Brady here against our defense and he finds another it's Gronkowski this time inside the 30 and it comes down to a field goal to tie the game up and send it to overtime and there it is field goal through the uprights it's 6-6 six, six, and now we're in overtime here as Gasicki takes the ball Grabs it and moves it toward midfield. But now we got a third and three here. Get it out wide as Kenyon Drake. He's moving it forward here. It's one minute to go. Second and 13. Doing all right as Darby gets forward and gets us into a third and inches scenario. And the ball gets to Gesicki. And we pass the 40-yard line. And then this kind of thing happens where you never know with the overtimes. It's a... Is it going to end? Is it not going to end? But as soon as the four minutes is up, I figured there'd be a second period, mainly because four minutes is not enough. We got one drive going, um, and nothing happened. We're still driving on the first drive, and they ended after four minutes. I didn't think they'd end up doing that. And we end up getting ourselves a tie here in the first episode. We end it with two wins, a loss, and a tie against the Patriots. That keeps us tied with them atop the division. So we don't lose ground necessarily, but we were driving there for the game-winning field goal, it looked like at least, and now we're gonna have to settle um, for the tie. But guys, that is probably going to be the end of this first episode. I hope you folks enjoyed it. Um, we're probably going to do five episodes a season. It looks like four games an episode. And then the fifth episode will be playoffs and off offseason. Um, depending on if we get there or not, season by season, we'll see how it goes. But that's probably how it is going to go, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned as we move forward in our Dolphins career mode. And peace.